today about the English language, about our system for vowels. Uh, the vowels in English mostly are short vowels or long vowels. Now you know the long vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Those are the long vowels. But the same letters that say A, E, I, O, and U in the short form, say a, e, i, a, a. So these are the most frequently used vowels, long and short. Long, a, e, i, o, u, short. A, e, i, a, a. In the dictionary, you will find the short vowel with a sign like this, sort of a little half circle, a, e, i. For the long vowels, you will find a straight line right above the vowel. What matters in our system is that we will have words like, say, not, n-o-t, ah, it's an o, pronounced ah. That's a short vowel. Not. N-O-T. If we put an E on the end of that word, we get note, and that's a long vowel. The um, O is not ah anymore, as in not. Now it's note. Or say um, mat. Mat, ah. It's a short vowel. It's a short A. But if we put an E on the end, and we don't say the E, we call it the E is silent, then it is no longer mat, it is mate. So that happens, a kit, say a kit, K-I-T. If you put an E on the end, it will not be kit anymore, it will be kite. And the I, which was short, will now be long. Now, this is something where there's only one consonant between that vowel and the final E. That makes all the difference. If you had two consonants, it wouldn't work. Sometimes it does work. <laughs> That's for another time. <laughs>